What's up guys, Adam Saxon, and today I wanna to talk about the Power BI admin role in relation to auditing, plus I got an announcement. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for spending part of it with me. And what I wanna to cover today is to talk about the Power BI admin role in relation to auditing, but before we get into that, I wanna make an announcement. You may have noticed a different kind of intro into this video. And I want to announce that Patrick LeBlanc, who's someone that works at Microsoft and I've been friends with for a while, he and I are teaming up now and he is officially part of Guy in a Cube. So I guess that makes it Guys in a Cube, although technically he works in his basement and I work in a bedroom in my house. So I don't know, make of it what you will, but he is now part of Guy in a Cube and hopefully we will be delivering even more value and content to you guys. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and get ready to see some content from him. Okay, so the Power BI admin role and auditing, typically the question I get around this is, hey, we're going to assign the Power BI admin role or we've already assigned the Power BI admin role. Do they have access to the audit log? And let's go ahead and dig into that. So if you're not familiar with the Power BI admin role, this is a role that you can assign to users inside of Office 365. So this is one of the many roles that are available inside of Office 365. The big thing that this role gives you access to is the Power BI admin portal. This is inside of the Power BI service, and inside of there you have access to things such as usage statistics. It gives you links to the Office 365 Admin Center to manage users and groups, and it also gives you a link to the audit log. In addition to tenant settings that affect the whole tenant or individual groups, that was a new thing that was added recently where you can actually have granular security on individual settings inside of the Office 365 admin portal. So if you want more information on the admin portal itself, I'll have a link down in the description below to point you to the documentation on the admin portal. It was updated to include these granular settings. So let's talk about the audit log. With the audit log itself, there is a link inside of the admin portal inside of Power BI to the audit log. Having the Power BI admin role does not give you explicit access to the audit log. You still need to be either a global admin or have declared rights inside of Exchange Online to have access to the audit log. So you can assign rights to the audit log without being a global admin, but just being a Power BI admin itself doesn't give you that right. And so there are additional configuration steps that you need to have. Also, you still need to have an Exchange Online license in order to access this. So I'll have links down below to other information on how to actually get those explicit permissions outside of being a global admin, if that's something that you're interested in. The tenant settings in the admin portal and the usage statistics are the big things for the Power BI admin role currently today. And so you will need additional Office 365 admin rights in order to manage users and licenses, as well as to have access to the audit log itself. Does this clear up Power BI admin role in relation to auditing? I'd love to hear your comments. You can leave that down below or just let me know if you have any other questions. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, be sure to hit subscribe for more great content from both myself and upcoming videos from Patrick. Thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome.